What you mean is he's made money. And what about Bill Ash? Well, he got to be a commander. Didn't he just? Over the body of a man who could have been... Ben. I'll leave it be. Commander Ash is uh, leaving us. Did you know that? No, I heard. So what are you doing here? How do you mean? Oh, I wouldn't have thought you were much of a man for reunions. Never look back, eh? Something like that. So, why did you come? I told you Ash is retiring. The reason I'm here is to see the last of him. Well, you know how these capers come about? Some joker says, what a pity to lose what we got for each other. Meet you under the clock at Waterloo Station 50 years from now. Yeah. And when you do, this fellow you knew is a hard man all those years ago. He's bald, fat, and short of breath. And you're in the same state yourself. Right. And no way can you think I'd ever want to meet him again anyway. Right. Right, Sergeant. Right, Bert. So, uh, what's this reunion? What was the job? Ever heard of Trunky Small from Catford? Well, he's a heavy villain in his day, though his day was 20 years ago, about the time Elvis the Pelvis was the biggest thing since baked beans. So what about Small? Well, he's dead now. Died in Parkhurst, two in 12. A right nasty. Oh, what's the late Trunky Small got to do with a reunion tonight at the Indiaman if he's not going to be there? Well, Trunky, you could say, he'd be the guest of honour if he hadn't passed on. Huh? Trunky and his team tried to thief half a million in silver from a ship called the Galveston Bay, unloading bullion from Peru. Only the lads were waiting, on account of a detective inspector by the name of Ash, having received certain information, as they say. That's a snout, was it? Yeah, well, that's the way I heard it. No, it's before your time. But I had it on good authority. George? The landlord down at the East India Man. George never talks about it. Don't know why. Oscar Delta from Oscar Delta 6. From what I heard, the job went sour on them. There was this uh, young Delta copper who got... Oscar Delta 6. Yes, Harry. A Baltic Wharf by P Shed. Some blokes in the water. Over. Uh, can you see him? Elderly fellow, I think. Uh, just a minute, Sergeant. I'm trying to see him. I'm alerting River Police. Got your light with you? Yeah. Come on, mate. Where are you? A Bruton, Doc Green. There's a man in the water. Baltic Wharf. P for Percy Shed. Here's one of my men down there. How long do you reckon he's been in the water, Harry? Just this minute I saw him go in. Over. Uh, right, Harry. I'll get you help. They're on their way, John. Is he gone? No, I don't know. I don't see him, Sarge. Yeah. Got him. You hearing me, Harry? Harry! George Dix. Commander. <laughs> ben Cope, is it? Sergeant Cope. Yes. It's been a long time, Commander. Yes, yes. Uh, How are you, Ben? Well enough, sir. Yes. Well, uh, <laughs> all here, are we? All here. Who's come? Ben Cope, you gunner! And George! Sorry. <laughs> Bill Ash. Commander, isn't it? Sorry. You've done well, Governor. <laughs> you haven't done too badly, Murray. <laughs> yeah, take it on your toes out of force when you did. Here, listen, Murray, you owe me. Do I, Ben? What? Yep, three quid for the day you went to Epsom. Oh, if you say so, Ben. You know so, rich man. So I'll pay. You ever know Murray Finn not pay what he owes? <laughs> Even pay your old debt. <laughs> That's more than can be said for some. Well, uh, about time we got upstairs, isn't it? Yes, I think it is. Oscar Delta 6 from Oscar Delta. Harry, do you read? Panda 2's on its way, John. No answer at this time from Oscar Delta 6. You think he's gone in? Harry? 
He would, yes. Pretty sure he would. Thames Division. Well, there's a boat in Galleon's Reach. Tide's on the front. Yeah, but how long did it get there? Baltic Wharf. <sighs> Take too long. Yeah. I thought I'd seen her before. Right. I'm sure I have somewhere. Mm. We're supposed to be nine here, aren't we? Yeah. Yes, well, the table's been set for ten. Hey, Governor, who's not here? I'll tell you. Chunky Small, of course. Chunky <laughs> Small. <laughs> and if it hadn't been for him, none of us be here. Yeah. I'll tell you something. Old Chunky had to come to. <laughs> <laughs> gentlemen, gentlemen. Chunky Small is dead. Chunky died in Parkhurst, where we put him. Well, in that case, gentlemen, absent friend. Shut up, Murray. What are you on about? An absent friend. Oh, yeah, him too. OK, then, here's the crime. Hey, Harry! 